Well, hello once again, ladies and gentlemen. John Paul Productions here uh, with another endearing lesson for you in music terminology. This week we're going to be talking about the application of the rest. Now, the rest, unlike the note, it's actually almost considered the antonym of a note. So you got your whole notes, your half notes, your quarter notes, your sixteenth notes, your eighth notes, your thirty-second notes, and so forth. And the mirror antonym of that would be the rest. <clears throat> a whole note might sound like this: ah, half note, ah, quarter note, ah, eighth note, eh, sixteenth note, eh, thirty-second note. Eh. Those are your notes. Now, what a rest. What we're doing is we're setting ourselves up in a different camp. This camp is more of a, how do I put it? Let me bring it down to its lowest common denominator. Again, this is all time-based information. So I don't care if you're playing a flutophone, a xylophone, a telephone. I don't even care if you're bashing your kid's head against the swing set to get a sound. When you have a rest, really very simple. When you have a rest, shut up. That's all it means. Just shut up. I don't care what you're playing. When you see a rest, shut the mouth. Oh, shut up. Shut up. That's a rest. Thank you.